Hello everybody, Alexander here. Welcome to another review and test. I've got a request to test out a new Avast final version 6.0. It was released uh, four days ago, maybe three, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and uh, it's out of beta. There you go, 6.0.1000 or all 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 whatever <laughs> installer is uh, 51.5 megabytes interface is pretty much the same um, they have added some new lines of protections here now from now on a vast um, will be using uh, auto sandboxing technology for unrecognized files and they now have a uh, web rep this is probably web reputation um, the plugin has been installed in uh, internet explorer um, you can use it uh, with uh, mozilla firefox too i don't have mozilla on this machine now you have a site blocking uh, this is uh, some kind of parental control if i'm not mistaking you can add um, sites that you want here that you want to be blocked by a vest like porn movies or <laughs> criminal or violence I'm just kidding uh, let's check for program updates now let me pause this and there you go it's up to date Okay, let's update the virus definitions. This is a free version of Avast. They also offer a pro version and uh, internet security. But uh, you will have to pay for those last two versions. Uh, let's now go to settings and see what we have here. Virus chest virus alert exclusion maintains let's go here real-time shields file system shield advanced okay sensitivity it's a normal let's move it to high scan for potentially unwanted programs enabled okay mail shield web shield let's go here to expert settings and uh, do the same heuristics to high and potentially unwanted programs peer-to-peer -peer, network shield script behavioral shield I haven't seen too much from this behavior shield in version 5.0 and 5.1 they say that um, they improve this behavioral shield. We will see that. Let's open up a browser. I have 10 zero day links over here. I believe that's that's the right document. Let me copy this for a second. let's start here and this rootkit was blocked by a vest that's nice a vest web shield has blocked a harmful web page or file okay win32 rootkit okay that's that's nasty infection let me open up process explorer for a second company name a vest uh, right now it's using uh, about uh, 29 let's say 30 megabytes of RAM usually it's on 25 and that's a little bit heavier from what I remember than the version 5.1 just a little bit not too much 
and Trojan horse blocked if I try to run it it does nothing let's move on to to the third one malicious URL blocked okay over here you have a, a vast toolbar this site has no rating no enough votes so they they give uh, reputations to different websites this one was blocked as a uh, win32 malware generic yeah a threat has been detected a sexy voice malware blocked again by a vest that's nice let's continue here again malicious URL blocked that's awesome so far we are perfect this is a fake AV I believe it says Trojan horse blocked let's run this it's right here in memory a vest says um, nothing hi <laughs> hi too hi to you too <laughs> this is running in memory but not anymore kinda weird which was the last one I forgot this web 7 okay and again malware blocked that's nice a vast uh, file system shield has blocked a threat by the way this is the most popular free antivirus in Serbia again blocked a vast is blocking that one those are very new malware again blocked trojan horse blocked it looks like um, a vast is doing very well so far let's run the last one and let's wait for this I've bought a new bottle of uh, Angel Man Cologne by Terry Mugler it smells amazing and it lasts for forever <laughs> I've got more than 15 bottles of different colognes Givenchy Play Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal Davidoff I really like colognes let's run this, this looks like uh, it has a publisher but it doesn't mean that it's not a malware, it's running right here in memory mm. let's install this if I can whatever <laughs> let's run those three backups that I have here again Trojan horse blocked blocked again very nice
again some kind of weird installer or whatever I don't know never mind let's now clean up temp files I'm not gonna restart in this machine because the vest uh, didn't say didn't want me to do that it's green now I'm gonna open up malwarebytes uh, anti-malware update it and um, I will run a scan a quick scan with it and um, see you in a second okay there you are it's up to date as you can see I've got one more link it's a fake AV it's very very new and I'm very curious if uh, a vest is going to block it let's see um, run I've got this from uh, malware domain list it's very new if I try to run it it's running in memory and it disappeared okay let's now run a scan with uh, with uh, malwarebytes anti-malware I'm gonna pause the video for a second okay there we are malwarebytes finished and found five infections let's see what we have here two files, two registry values and one registry key uh, local temporary internet file, temporary internet file this is a registry key, a rogue secure light, live and this too as well so we have only that uh, rogue it's that is not running at the moment okay let's now run a scan with the super anti spyware free edition check for updates over the update and let's run a quick scan with it and um, I'll be back okay I did a scan with the uh, Supranti Spyware and it found nothing as you can see Hitman Pro found uh, only some temporary internet files and not a big deal at all I did a scan with Norton Power Racer 2 and uh, didn't find anything neither and that's nice to see so a vest now a vest is using uh, let me see 17 17 megabytes of ram and that's nice um, it's light on system resources they definitely improved the software and that's good to see from the previous version 5.1 this one um, did much much better than um, the version 5.1 internet security version that I was testing uh, maybe two months ago I don't know and that's nice to see I didn't see too much from this sandbox feature and from behavioral feature um, but um, I will watch watch out for this I will test it out for myself on my virtual machine and if anyone wants to know the results please send me personal message or something like that and I will tell you how this out sandboxing works I didn't have an opportunity to test it out well because um, pretty much everything was caught by antivirus engine and that's it for today thanks for watching everybody and have a nice day bye bye